Welcome guys to another review from the Beta Berserker, me, Matt. Now I hope you've had a fantastic day, wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing, whatever you're getting up to. And before we start, huge massive thank you to each and every one of you guys that's liking my videos, watching my videos, commenting on them and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, please. Because what I've set up over on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt and on YouTube is not about me. It's about trying to help promote and showcase these small brands out there. They're making some amazing products, whether it's clothing, jewelry, beard products, skin products, hair products. And everything that I do here is to give you guys my completely honest opinion. And that is what I've said since day one. And that is what I will continue doing is to give you guys an honest opinion. So everything that I do review and look at, I'm completely unbiased. It's all honest. It's all in my own opinion. And I'm not affiliated to any of these brands whatsoever. Because there is nothing worse in life as a consumer than going out and buying something. You get it home, you try it. Doesn't live up to expectations or do what it says on the tin. And it just sits there on your shelf gathering dust. So as with all the products I go out and source or stuff that gets sent through to me, I have used it first. This is not an unboxing video because I'm not overly keen on unboxing videos because just because the packaging's nice and the product smells nice or whatever doesn't necessarily mean it's going to last or what the ingredients are going to be any good or anything like that. Now, this is the thirdish review I've done for this UK brand who is called Devilishly Bearded. Thank you very much for them for sending the t-shirt through. Bless you probably seen it on other videos I've done. I've done a review of this a while back. Um, they do a range of clothes and stuff like that. This t-shirt was 16 quid if you get in touch with them. I'm sure they can sort something out. But this is a review for one of their oils. Now the last one I done was the Vanilla Fudge. This is a new one. And this one is... Fireball. Now... Like I say, I have used this, so even though I'm going to go through the scent profile and everything of that, I know what this is exactly like because I've used it a couple of times and I know what it does. So, first of all, we're going to look at the packaging, then we're going to look at the scent, the ingredients, then the price of it. Then afterwards, I'm going to score it out of 20. So, zero, I wouldn't touch that with a shitty stick. 10, yeah, it's kind of all right, nothing to write home about. And 20, absolutely spantastic. So, that's how I kind of score the stuff. So first of all, looking at their product, as you can see, it comes with the devilishly bearded logo on the front with the brass knuckles and the cut fight razor and roses. Very nice, that's what it kind of looks up if you haven't, can't really see it properly on the camera. Now, all of their products are CSPR checked, which you have to have done if you're selling products and stuff like that. Uh, cosmetic products, skin products, hair products, beard products, stuff like that in the UK. And kind of how to do it and how to use it and there you have it there now you'll notice this comes in a green glass bottle now the reason the beard oils I say this every time but just in case you didn't know the reason that a lot of beard oils you'll find come in colored glass bottles is because UV rays from the sun I don't know what that was it was probably a UV ray it stops um, basically the UV rays from degrading and breaking down any of the oils inside. So you tend to find either blue, your amber brown ones, or your green ones, or opaque, never usually clear. This one does have a rubber pipette on the top, which is my preferred method of administering beard oil to my hands before I put it on my beard. Um, because I tend to use six drops every morning. I'll tend to use seven to eight drops if I've washed my beard twice a week. And I may even just, depending on how heavy day's been at work, I might put a few drops on before bed just to keep it sort of like nourished and hydrated while I'm sleeping. So, now as the name suggests, this is Fireball. Now, if you remember two different sorts of sweets I used to have as a kid, um, you had the fireballs, which are kind of like the aniseed ones that used to come in a, in a rectangular pack. And the other ones that I used to like were the jawbreaker ones. You used to always carry a pocket in those with those at school. So I was very interested with this product to see whether it is that sort of fireball or it's completely different and smells of napalm or something like that. So taking the top off. First scent I get is that unmistakable whiff 
of the cinnamon from the fireball which ultimately it was made up of. Now this is a clear oil, slightly got a yellow tint to it. Now before I smoosh it through my hands and go through that, ingredients on these on this is grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, coconut oil, biotin oil, which is a good one to have in there, and your vitamin E as well. And with all products, I say it time and time and time again, always do a test patch first because you never know whether you could have an allergic reaction and stuff like that. Touch wood. So far, every product I've reviewed, I've never had a problem with or anything like that. I have to leave it on in a few hours. No, no change. Everything's start using my skin and my beard. So let's have a little smush. It, it has got that unmistakable scent. Put a few drops in my hand to simulate like I was going to put it in my beard. I have actually done my beard since I got home from work and washed and showered and all of that malarkey. Make sure the top's on tight because it's normally throwing it all over the place. Generate some heat for it, waking those scents. Yes, it is. It is that fireball scent. If Not that they used to smell, but that scent of having it in your mouth, if you remember, if you were into that sort of thing. Those really hot, sort of aniseedy, um, cinnamony, which gives it the fireball sort of smell. And it has, it is just exactly like it used to taste, if that made sense, but it's, it's in the smell as opposed to the taste. And the thing that I do like about this, because I was kind of very apprehensive, because cinnamon, aniseed, and that sort of scent, it can really just be completely overpowering and completely knock out. This is not a scent for the faint-hearted, because obviously with a name like Fireball, you kind of know exactly what you're going to get. But I was expecting this to kind of knock my head off and knock me into next week. But it's actually just slightly higher than medium on my scent scale. So down here you got ridiculously subtle. In the middle, normal. At the top, you take your head off. This is just slightly over halfway. So it's not ridiculously in your face, but it's enough to smell. And within, I've noticed with it, the scent lasts around about two and a half, maybe three hours, which is good. And it, it has, it drops down. That initial punch sort of wakes you up and then it drops down and it becomes a bit more subtle. But it's such a well put together scent. Now, I know predominantly it's sort of um, cinnamon stroke aniseed, mainly on the cinnamon side. But it's really nice. Now, I have used this. Um, it leaves my skin underneath feeling nice and soft and hydrated and everything. Beard's nice and soft. I have got one of their other products in there um, from getting home and sort of washing and everything in my beard. And all their products seem to be really good at sort of making your hair softer and stuff like that and locking the moisture of your beard. It's obviously from being sort of dry and scraggly. And I really love the scent of it. It's very nice, and I should put the remainder over my tattoos because it's good for the skin. That's really nice, and it is one of those scents not for the faint hearted. I know you've got your lot subtler scents out there and stuff like that. This is quite a potent scent, not as in strength wise, but it's kind of there. It, it smells of fireball. Now, the scent, uh, the sizes of these come in 30 mils for £9.99. They also do matching balms as well, so you can mix and match and stuff like that. And their balms for a 50ml tin are $9.99 also. Now you also get another choice with this, is all the oils that they do, devilishly bearded, you can also get them. Um, this is their old logo, I hear they have moved up to their uh, newer logo, or their regular logo, and this is their original one. But you can get them in a one ounce um, stainless steel hip flask which is such a great idea because obviously if you're going on a holiday, touring, whatever, weekend away, you don't necessarily want to be putting glass in your luggage. And I do like the idea of just being able to put it on your key ring, in your wash bag, or whatever, car keys. And so these are £15 for a one ounce stainless steel uh, hip flask and it comes with your preferred oil that they do in there. Um, oils that they do are the sherbet lemon, uh, the vanilla fudge, the fireball, uh, mother's ruin, the amaretto, the mother's ruin one is a gin one, and basilica or basilico, uh, which is a sambuca one. 
So plenty of different scents there, a bit of everything out there. And I do like the way that with the Sherbet Lemon one, which I haven't reviewed, that that will be coming up next. Sherbet Lemon, the Fireball and the Vanilla Fudge, kind of that sort of return to your childhood sort of scents and everything. And it's nice to see something different out there. Not that I've got a problem um, with any other scent. As you probably know, I love my deep, dark, woody scents as well as my sweet scents as well. And so this is really nice. And believe it or not, um, I haven't actually tried uh, Devilishly Bearded's Balm, but I have paired this with an orange balm, and I've also paired it with a vanilla balm as well, which is very, very nice. So you've got that sort of like citrusy orange burst with the fireball as well and the cinnamon, which makes a very good winter scent. And it's also good with a, a vanilla as well, because it kind of gives it a bit of a sweet edge as well. So you can mix and match them. So those are the two different sizes that they do, the one ounce and the 30 mil. And prices, like I say, £9.99, £15. Uh, the balms are 50 mil for £9.99 as well. And this t-shirt I'm wearing, it's 16 quid. I will be putting links down below to Devoshly Beardod. So please go check them out. Um, like I say, come from County Durham in the UK. And thank you so much to them for sending out food. And it comes to scoring it. Now, although this scent is not going to be for everyone because a lot of people don't like cinnamon and find it too overpowering and stuff, for me, it lives up, it deserves the name Fireball on the front, if you know what I mean, because it does rekindle my youth of those sweets that I used to carry around in my school jacket and everything. And so, for that reason, it's so well made. And I'm going to score it 20 out of 20. And so far, out of the ones that I have actually reviewed, this one and the Emirato are my favourite. And then coming in third place to those are the Vanilla Fudge. So it'll be interesting to see how the other ones fare against these two, which are at the top at the moment. I think slightly mm, either or, if you know what I mean. One day it's this one's my favourite, and then the next day it's this one. So brilliant stuff. Thank you so much for Devilishly Bearded. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more review, uh, live reviews coming up soon as well, as well as a giveaway, so please stay tuned for that one. Should anyone happen to have any questions, comments, anything you need help with, support, reviews and stuff like that, please get in touch with me. Like I say, I'm over there on Instagram, it's probably over in that direction somewhere as Viking Beard Matt. So direct message us over there, comment down below, even email me mattrp74 at outlook.com, all lowercase. But thank you guys for that. I hope you have a fantastic evening. I have another review for coming up for you tomorrow evening as well. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on looking after each other. Keep on loving each other. Keep on growing those beards. And I look forward to seeing you next on the next review in the Bearded. Berserker. Have a lovely evening, guys. Speak to you soon. Thank you.